Hello and welcome to another exciting episode of Chop, Eat, Repeat. Today I'm going to show you an easy, simple way to make a short crust base for a quiche. Now you can use this in numerous different quiches. So let's get started. In a clean bowl, we start with taking our refined flour. And now for this, we need chilled cubed butter. We're going to cut the butter into the flour. A pinch of salt. Some chilli powder, just to give it some colour and flavour. This is avoidable and depending upon your taste. And some mustard powder, once again just to give it some colour and some taste. Now with my hands, what I'm doing is, I'm mi mixing the dough, the flour and the butter together, just using the tips of my finger. I have to ensure that the dough remains flaky and crispy because of the chilled butter that we are using. I'm using some chilled water to bring the entire dough together and then we'll put it into the refrigerator to chill for about half an hour. and into the fridge for about half an hour so that the butter stabilizes and we get a nice flaky pastry dough. Now this pastry dough has remained in the fridge for about half an hour. It's fairly chilled and stable. So let's cut it into little pieces so that we can fill our shells with the dough. I'm not rolling this out. I'm simply layering this since it's a short crust pastry dough, you don't have to worry about anything. It's a very, very easy, robust dough. Even if it breaks, you can take some extra dough from your original ball and repair it. If there is any shrinkage, it will be taken care of. Now my oven is preheated at 180 degrees and this will go into the oven for about 10 minutes or so. I'm pricking it with a fork so that it bakes evenly. So we are pricking it with a fork and this process of baking an empty tart shell is called blind baking where I'm not filling the tart shell with any filling. We're just blindly baking it. You can also put some amount of weight to not allow it to puff up. But since we've already pricked it with a fork, we can safely omit the process of putting some weight. So this goes into the oven for about 10 minutes and I'll see you once it is nicely baked. Okay, so my quiche mold is ready and it's cooled down out of the oven and this is how it's going to look once it's baked. Now in this you can fill your choice of filling and make a great looking quiche. I hope you've enjoyed watching me on Chop, Eat, Repeat. Do continue watching my channel. Don't forget to like and don't forget to press the subscribe button. Till then, this is Harsh signing off on Chop, Eat, Repeat.